So I read through that and was just really shocked and surprised and wondering how I had never heard anything about that before. No, I don't, women, in my, in general, women are not being informed. And what I'm suggesting is that sometimes the doctors just don't think about it as an issue. You know, that is almost pathetic that I don't really know. Probably an issue of a lot of people is that they don't really understand how it works. They may know that it does, it helps you not to get pregnant, but they, they may not necessarily know like the background health. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it has something to do with hormones, mm -hmm. and I've been told that it tricks your body thinking that you're pregnant already. Yeah. That's pretty much it. And I was never told by your doctors anything. And I think that's part of the reason that there's so many healthcare professionals that don't know about this debate, this controversy, this theory, but so many women don't know, and, and we could also say so many husbands don't know, and so many moms and dads don't know, and so many pastors don't know, and, and so many Christian leaders don't know. I heard about it from my partner. I was practicing in Kissimmee, Florida, a little town near Orlando. My partner came back from a conference and said, I've heard that the birth control pill can cause abortions. Have you ever heard this? I said, absolutely not. In fact, I don't think they can. And he said, well, here's some literature. Why don't you read it? So I read it, studied it, and I came back to him and I said, his name's John Hartman. I said, John, I think this is a bunch of rubbish. And he said, well, why don't you prove it? I guess it stops the female from the egg with the sperm to fertilize. Um, I can't say I really know for sure how birth control works. I know it has something to do with adjusting your hormone levels, um, but beyond that I'm not really sure how it works. And I haven't gotten pregnant, so I guess that it works to the best of my knowledge. Okay. It stops you from ovulating, okay. um, so you still have your period, but it's not the same as if you were not on the paradox. The woman's normal menstrual cycle involves the ovary, cervical mucus, and the uterine lining. In a normal cycle, a woman releases an egg every month due to the natural hormones estrogen and progesterone. For a woman on the pill, the artificial hormones usually prevent ovulation. Secondly, in a normal cycle, the cervical mucus changes to improve sperm migration. For a woman on the pill, the cervical mucus thickens to prevent sperm penetration. Thirdly, the natural hormones in a normal cycle cause the lining of the uterus to build up in preparation for a newly conceived child to implant. For a woman on the pill, the artificial hormones cause the lining to shrink and do not allow it to mature properly. So if the first two mechanisms of the pill fail and the woman does ovulate and conceive, Implantation of a new child may be hindered, which would be an abortion. Many medical textbooks, pharmaceutical manuals, and government resources include the third mechanism. The CPS is the Canadian drug reference for healthcare professionals. Almost all of the entries for oral contraceptives mention changes in the endometrium. Now, when we went to the pharmacies and got the patient information which comes in the pill packages, the inserts that do mention how the pill works only give two mechanisms of action inhibition of ovulation, thickening of cervical mucus, leaving out the effects on the endometrium. The Physician's Desk Reference is the American Drug Manual for Healthcare Providers. All of the pharmaceutical companies which gave entries for oral contraceptives mention the three mechanisms. 
When we looked at the American inserts, we found all three mechanisms under the clinical pharmacology section. However, in the information for the patient section, there was no mention of how the pill works. That when we were doing our research, we found that in the physician's desk reference, every birth control pill is required to print the mechanism of action, how the birth control pill works. And the PDR says there's three mechanisms. One, decreases ovulation. Two, thickens the cervical mucus. Three, alters the endometrium so that implantation is less likely. But what about the handouts that are given to women that are also required by the Food and Drug Administration? When we did our study, all of the birth control pills except one excluded that information. They said decreases ovulation, thickens cervical mucus. But in the information given to women, it did not say that the endometrium could be altered. We wrote every one of those companies as part of our study. None of them gave us an answer. Since then, those handouts have been changed, but not for the better. Now, none of them, to my knowledge, none of them mention any of the effects in the patient education. They ignore it. And I think that's part of the reason that not only so many healthcare professionals, but so many women just don't know about this issue, about this controversy.